pull him up a little bit. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> I got him. There, hold that. Get a picture and let's get it let's see back in the water. All right, let's get a release on this guy. Let's get him back in the water. 30 inches. Nice drum right here. Good dog. Okay, that thing fall crazy. All right, so right now we're headed over to old school outdoors so i don't know if anyone knows i probably didn't even tell nobody this besides like people around me but for the last like month and a half we actually been in a um a retail store uh it's called old school outdoors it's a pretty freaking sweet place it's um they have like a bunch of like fishing stuff and like outdoors like camping and stuff uh, it's a smaller mom and pop shop which is cool i like to be in those places and then they have a whole skateboard selection which is very different from a lot of outdoor stores um you know, a lot of outdoor stores are kind of just like fishing and like hunting and stuff only where they got a big like skateboard and like thing and it's pretty cool. So that's where we're headed right now. We actually got to go discuss some upcoming merch gear for them and then um, go over there. We're going to go check out the place. It's be the first time you guys see it. So hope you guys like it and that's where we're headed right now. So I'll see you guys in a second. Guys, we're here right outside at Old School Outdoors, as you guys can see. We're gonna go ahead in, we're gonna go talk to the owners. I'll show you guys around the building. Um, so yeah, that's where we're gonna go ahead in right now. My name's John Bullock, uh, the, one of the owners here. Uh, basically, uh, you know, this started uh, from me being a Ewing guy. So we actually are a skateboard manufacturer where we manufacture skateboards out of Philadelphia. Um, but there's nothing in Ewing. Like, we're right by the river, where there's some skate parks around, there's some good skating in Trenton. And there's nothing around here, so basically what I did is I opened up a, uh, a bait shop, well not bait shop, but a outdoor store. We carry skateboards and we're basically trying to service the community. So we carry mountain boards, clothes, shoes, and different things like that. Old School's been around for 27 years now, um, and we basically supported the skate community through, you know, the Delaware Valley, basically the Philadelphia region, New Jersey. Um, and, you know, with the manufacturing of boards, we just started manufacturing about two and a half years ago. Uh, kind of happened because of COVID. Uh, with the situation with COVID, the uh, you know everything was hard to get. So I went to one of my manufacturers, and they said, "Well, it's going to be a year they can get get boards." Well, I said, "In a year, I can make the process." And then I thought, "In a year, I can make the process." So I started making the process. Um, I used to press boards in California, uh, work with some partners out there where I used to go out there and help them press boards when they got big orders. So I knew the process; I just needed to create it. And then basically, here we are doing some pretty cool boards and some pretty cool stuff. All right, so we just left old school. And now we're gonna head over to the freaking, the creek, the creek that everyone knows, the infamous creek, the creek that I lost my old camera in. Hopefully Connor doesn't lose this camera in because that would really suck. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go down there. We're actually gonna catch a crawfish. As you guys know, I love messing around with crawl nets. And we're gonna make a crawfish bowl out of this. So we're gonna head down there. Um, Maddie's gonna be catching them barehanded. She's gonna do a, she's gonna do a <laughs> lip piercing too. I don't know about that. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get down there catch as many as we can, get home, clean them things out, and then we're gonna start cooking. So I'll see you guys down in the crib. All right, we gotta do a little quick change of room real quick because I'm putting a performance shirt on. We might be balls deep in this creek and I'm not trying to get my t-shirt all wet right now. You want, do you want a performance shirt? Check it out. No. I'm just feeling like dangerous right now. So when I feel dangerous, I wear the white. When I'm feeling risky, I wear the blue. He's trying to look at my dogs. Shall I look at the dogs? 
Do free? Dogs are out. This is free 99 right here. Don't expect this all the time, guys, because you're not going to get it all the time. You're not going to get that free treatment. So I got rocks now on my freaking foots. All right, so all you need to catch the crawdads is the Abu Garcia bucket and a jacked up top, and you're pretty much hillbilly in and up. Making my way downtown. <laughs> it's like the hardest part of the whole trip. I walk sideways, gotta do a little moonwalk. I do a little Humpty Dumpty action. You know what I mean? Just to get some crawdads. So when you get right about here, just grab this tree. Don't run head first, no, because you'll be knocked out. Ow! Of Oh, As you can tell, she's not built for the outdoors, guys. I'm gonna slide down the hill. Okay, okay, this isn't too bad. Three days later. We got it. I'm about to take the whole tree down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely gonna. All right, now you got a cannonball. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, now he's gonna put a hole in my pine side shirt. But, you know. Little guy. They're so easy to catch. You just grab them. They're easier to catch than the ghost crab. If you guys didn't know, Maddie was over in, I'll pop up the clip right now, but she was ghost crabbing and catching ghost crabs in Virginia with us. And she was having a good old time. Oh! She got his ass. You think? Yeah, I can see him better. This one's not that big though. Just put him on already. <laughs> so I think it's your time to handle a, a crawl dad. Maybe not like that. Just hold him on the See? Just, just a little guy. Just a little guy. We're gonna go find your brother and sister and eat them. Mom and dad. Here, Connor. They're all over the place in here. I told you. Probably get the bucket. If he goes in the deep end, I can't get it. Oh, jeez, they're deep. so quick. If you go behind, you gotta go behind them because they swim back. Okay, that red tail hawk. Did you just name that bird instantly? It's a red tail hawk. They make that noise. I'm impressed. Because in movies, they use that for the eagles. The eagles don't make noises like that. Red tail hawks do. Alright, motherfucker, you're getting caught. Oh, his buddy's coming over too. Hell. Here we go, got our first one safely. I'm gonna throw that thing up water. So yeah, anyways, got our first one. Look at that, safely. He's just hanging out. I mean, it's decent size, not great, but I mean, we'll still eat her. Look that ripped off. Got another fight in the See that? No pinches on this guy. Nice and easy catch right there. Once they're shallow, I'm gonna push them all in. No, I want to catch one. All right. All right, only 47 more to go till dinner time. I think the one without the pinchers is the biggest one in there. Or maybe the... Um, there should be two with no pinchers. Yeah. Well, the, the first one you caught. You just have to take the pinch. So I'm pretty much like the, you know, the, the crawl dad hunter, like you can call me crawl daddy, um, you know, crawl dad hunter, crawl daddy, just don't call me crawl mommy, that's crawl mommy over there, you're crawl mommy, oh, crawl daddy, you're crawl mommy, oh, yeah. she doesn't really get it, she's kind of out of element, she doesn't really do the outdoors thing, she just happens to be dating somebody in the outdoors, she's trying to play the part, you know what I mean?
He had a couple. Cut your he hands. jumped right on my leg. <laughs> See it? Put your hand right behind him. Put your hand behind him. Got him right in your hand. Cup your hand. Oh, it's all right. Just I'm grab scared. him. You're fine. Just... It's a nice one. Yeah. It's a good one right there. Check that pool right there. Oh, I caught this bastard just like this. Holy shit! I thought I lost him. I was like, wait, I got him by the, I got him by the freaking tent, the freaking tentacle. Yeah, that's how we do it, boy. This guy's actually like our, I don't know, like our 15th one. Maddie still hasn't caught one. No. Just to uh, grow a set of balls. Definitely not gonna do that. So. Your balls, your balls haven't dropped yet. Not yet. I'm still waiting. They're just fun to play with. Do you want to at least take them over to the bucket? Sure. Actually, I'm gonna slip. It's really slippery over there. You should take him. One by two. Squeeze. Got it. I don't have him good. No. This boy. Oh, you're holding in the spot where I should be. You got it. Okay. No, it's okay. Good. No. Go ahead. No. Come on. No. You're scared. I, I'm gonna slip. It's so slippery going that way. I don't want to. I don't want to lose it. All right. By the time I get back here, you gotta catch one. All right. I don't like all this pressure being put on me right now. If it happens, it happens. Got him. There it is. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there Finally got your first crawl there. Put them <laughs> right on your lip. No, that's no. That was perfect. I would do it. Gotta change my shoes. See, like the rookie move is Madison's gonna bring her change of shoes. So now she gotta go to with muddy, creaky ass shoes all the way into ShopRite. I don't care. Why we gotta go to ShopRite is because I still gotta get shrimp because they were like the seafood spot was closed and I don't like live that close to the beach where I can just go and catch some shrimp, you know what I mean? And then we're also gonna go. Buy some crawdads too, because I mean, I didn't catch enough to like really make a feast. And if you guys know anything about crawdads, they're like not very that big and filling. And you know, we got more stuff now, we're having some more crawdads in there, so we're gonna go there, shop right, get the stuff we need. I'm gonna go home, chop it all up, cook it all up, and then we're gonna feast. Got the shop right. Maddie had a piece and she's already darted off. Um, yeah, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna. Um, first of all, I look like a, I just rolled out of the creek because I did. You probably think I'm like a bum because I am, but that's okay. So I dropped a cool truck. Yes, yeah, so we gotta go in here. We gotta get some finishing recipe pieces and then um, get back home. Dude, she's been a long time. I think she's taking a poop in there. Are you getting a poop in there? No. Poop? No, I ate the food. No. Yep. New Zealand. New Zealand? Well, we're in Pennsylvania. And the United States of America. This one's New Zealand. America. New Zealand? New Zealand? It's only Alright, so I don't know if I mentioned or you guys seen or even we filmed it, but while we were down there, we caught a frog. We caught like a baby frog. And you know how we have killer frogs in here. Now that we have killer frogs, I figure we. Hey, buddy, go ahead. To go home. Now that we have I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day Spread my wings Now that we have killer frogs in here 
Um, I figured I'd bring him a pet, so we're gonna throw this one in there. I can't promise that this thing I don't get attacked by bluegill as soon as I throw him in. But we're gonna throw him in the water and see what happens. So we're gonna release him. Yeah, be free, free. Abacadabra. How is it? I dive that thing, baby. Come on, come on. Jump. Look at this thing. He just chill. Oh, yeah. Boom down. Oh, there he goes. I believe I can soar. I see me running through that open door. He might get eaten by the killer. I gotta fill this cooler up with some water. I'm gonna put the crawfish in there, let them clean themselves out. I'm gonna clean that thing out a few times, fill it up. I think some of them might be dying, but that's okay because we got backups, even though we didn't catch them all. Just had a freaking hell of a time catching these, fun, hanging out in a creek, doing some fun shit and stuff like that. So it is what it is. We're gonna clean these guys out though. Run away, crawls. Where do you think you're going, Bubba? Guy's trying to run away over here. Look at him. He thinks he's getting somewhere. I think our guy didn't make it. Let's we'll see. Yeah, no, he's dead. Rip. So we got, well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. We got ten crawls, and then we got like another ten, twenty in the house. So, um, we should be all right. So pretty much what we want to do is just want to have them kind of like shit out a little bit. Get all like the dirt, parasites off them, clean them all out, and then once they're good to go, which we'll rinse them a few more times, and then we gonna eat. The good thing with these is they were caught in a stream, so like, I mean, there's a lot of running water on them, so they're a lot cleaner than they would if they came out of the mud or like some murky ass water. But these ones are in streams, and they were like in flowing water, so they're pretty clean to begin with. Just clean them off more, just to make sure they're nice and clean before you eat them. Pretty much, I'm just filling this pot up right now, which is gonna be a lot of fucking water, because, I mean, as you guys can see, this is a big ass pot. I cooked crabs yesterday, and they were kind of mid, so I gotta make up for my wrongdoing. It's hard being a chef out here, you know? It's very hard. I mean, I got my suit right here, my sous chef right here. I mean, she does a good job, but I mean, it's just like when you gotta like bark those orders in the in the kitchen, you know, sometimes you just gotta just gotta tell your people how they gotta cook, and sometimes they're just doing it right. And, that, and I'm I'm a firm believer in like, you know, preparation. So like with the preparation and go like, then I mean, that's usually what happens for the main factor. So I mean, it's it's not you know always my fault. Sometimes it's the sous chefs mostly. He's the sous chef. Okay, so we're cutting the lemons in half. That way we can just squeeze them in there and then. We'll throw them in after too, just for more flavor. But that's five pounds of potatoes. I don't think we need that much potatoes. We don't have that much crawfish, so you never know. Okay, and then you clean up your mess, <laughs> if you're like me. I can't use that thing. That'll work. wine with my ice in my plastic cup. Just gonna chop her hand off. <laughs> I've come close to it before, but you live and you learn. Do you know those like apple slicers where you like put it on top of it and it's supposed to chop the whole thing? I was using one of those one time and it just snapped in half. That's impressive. That was, that was a long time ago. It was impressive, but it hurt. Uh, whoa, there she goes. And now we're just gonna put this pot on there. We're gonna blow some shit up, it looks like here. Put the lid on that thing. Going out there. You think I should start seasoning that thing on now? Uh, I believe so. I think you're supposed to, yeah. Alright, right, So we got some Old Bay seasoning right here. Which I'm dumping the whole thing in there. I'm gonna get that thing nice and saucy. Then we're going all, all Cajun right here. Make it nice and spicy. Then we're just gonna let that stuff ferment in there while this thing's getting ready to boil. And then we're gonna put the onions, the uh, garlic in there, everything else in there that needs to be in there, sausage, shrimp, all that good stuff. We're gonna put it all in there. And we're gonna have ourselves a crazy ass boil. You think we're feeding an army here. Um, next up is invest in a larger cutting board. All right, so we're gonna give these guys a quick check, see if these guys are alive and well. Might get bit a little bit or pinched, but that's okay. Just want to make sure these guys are 
you know, thriving and surviving in the best environments, you know. We don't want no people calling on us. But these guys are pretty clean, I'm going to say, for the most part. But we're just going to keep on going until it's ready to put them in there because they ain't going to have to go in for, like, the last, like, two seconds of the dang thing. So we're just going to keep let these guys keep going. None of them are floating at the top. None of them are floating at the top, so that means that they're not dead. That's good. Keep them alive. We got the water running. We got a bubbler in there, and the water's rolling out, so everything's getting flushed, which is good. That's a good thing. Thought we had to do this. What is this called? Husking corn. Husking corn. As you guys can see, we got boiling water here. Um, very, very hot, so be careful. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put two whole garlic cloves or garlic onions. You want to throw in the whole thing in there. Don't drop it in there because it'll splash it. But because if not, the whole thing will get real salty and just fall apart. We're doing this all for the zest. So back up when you do that. So it could be a little dangerous. But we're going to throw whole garlic cloves in there. And now we're going to dump squeezed lemons in there. But we're not going to just... You know, we're not going to waste the whole lemon, we're going to throw the whole rind in there as well. Because it's going to give all that season and zest. This seems to be real flavorful. Now we're going to dump potatoes in there. Ah, oh, shit, we lost it for you. Lost but not forgotten. Yeah. Gone but never forgotten. I got to go check with Madison. We put the corn in. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Firm corn does go in now. So, we'll put our corn in. So we got our corn, we got potatoes, we got onions, we got pepper, no not peppers, we got lemons, garlic. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna stir it up a little bit. Get it all mixed around in there and then we're just gonna let it, we're gonna let that thing ferment in there for a while. Get some seasoning up in there. That's how you do it. I guess we'll put the sausage in now. I'm not trying to dump it in there and then it's splash all over me. Sausage is already cooked. I don't want to dump these. Just dump it. That's what he did. It's going to splash. What he did. I'm not him. So yeah, I I um I caught these earlier, just went out and wrapped them up <laughs> to keep them safe. All right, so we're putting the crawdads in here now. I mean, there's not a lot, but we also have some cooked ones in there, some big ones. But we did catch, I think, 10. One died. So, oh. You scared me. One died, and the rest are our dinner. Good night. Now we're just gonna mix them up in there, get them nice and cooked, about 10 minutes. About maybe a little bit longer than that. And then everything's gonna be ready to bone up my teeth because I'm hungry as shit. So I don't really know how I'm gonna get this thing out of there. I don't even know where the handle is after this thing. I think we probably should start off by turning this thing off. Burner's off. This thing is no longer cooking. Well, it is cooking because it's like a million degrees in there. But now we gotta find out. See, I wish the handles were a little bit higher. It's not. Got me kind of chopped up over here. I'm gonna do this the uh, the degenerate way. I don't highly recommend, but watch your feet because that's boiling hot. I'm just gonna dump. Oh, look at these crawdads. Two of them. We lost two guys. Two oh, hang on. Grab it by the sides, not the back. Let's save them. Save what the call them <laughs> Sure. It's foggy and smoky as that mug out here. Yeah, we we you know. Five we, second roll, five yeah. minute roll. Yep. Put them down. <laughs> And plus, like, you're not eating the thing anyways, you're eating the insides of it, so. That can stay for now. We're gonna dump some of these crawdaddies up in here. So just like that. 
All right, so we got a little left in here, so we're gonna put up in here, and then, I mean, we got some leftovers in here. So, we got some juices down here left. We're gonna go over here. Ow, don't get burnt by the pot. Some of the juices, all that good, good in there. Yeah. Ah, ah, oh, fuck, it just got burnt by a shrimp. Alright, turn on the shrimp. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Mm hmm. What about the crawdad? You know how to know. pull crawdad? No, I don't even know how to eat it. Well, it's the tail. So, what do I do? Squeeze. Not right there. And that's the guts right there, but everything else on your dad is meat. How do I get to that? Peel a tail. Take a lobster tail. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yep, right there. Oh, there we go. Now, yeah, suck on the head. Not bad. Suck the juice out of the head. Out of there? Top. Where? Right here. Yeah. You said the guts came from there. Yeah, they're out. Not bad. Maybe then the sausage is going to be good. Spicy sausage, right? Uh -huh. mm. Alright guys, well as you guys can see, we got the crawdads right here, the whole bowl. It came out successfully. Um, obviously we didn't catch as many crawdads as we wanted to, but that's okay. Um, if I had more time and traps, I could have caught a bunch more. Um, but it was a success, so if you guys want this recipe, I'll leave it down below in the link. Also, go check out Old School Outdoors, guys. I'll leave all them linked down below as well. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out. I'm going to eat. Peace.